And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. As you're probably aware, Australia is absolutely mel mental. Followed very closely now by New Zealand in regards to the Lurgy response. Which is surprising as New Zealand, as you're probably aware, used to be very free loving. But that's the next video anyway, on how far they're going. This one is about Australia and it's bad. Especially New South Wales, as they're getting absolutely batshit crazy. In a previous video, I showed you that they'd killed rescue dogs so the workers looking after them didn't break lockdown, feeding them and looking after them. Turns out it was much, much worse than that. Some of the dogs had already been selected by a family for adoption. Yep, you heard that right. So they've killed these dogs, even though they had somewhere to go. They were no longer a, res a rescue centre dog. They would have been a family dog. And that's not all. One of them had pups. Disgraceful and the un ultimate shame in my honest opinion, but I am a dog lover. Well, this is New South Wales at it again. This is the Premier Gladys Berejiklian. Probably butchered that, but who cares? She's a nut job. <laughs> As she outlines what they're going to do next due to hitting their target of 6 million GB jabbed. As she says, Today I'm pleased to say that given we got to 6 million jabs in New South Wales from the 13th of September, not from now, 13th of September, so in a couple of weeks, in the local government areas of concern, families and a household can now be able to go out for an hour of recreation on top of the hour for exercise. So a family will be able to sit in a park so long as the adults, so we're ready for this one, are jibby jabbed and that is key. She also said, in other parts of Greater Sydney, vaccinated people will be allowed to gather outside in groups of five. So what they're effectively saying here, everyone, and it's absolutely disgraceful, they're saying, unjibby jabbed, you're not going out at all. Even even after the 13th or the 10th of September and even if you are you're not going out for 22 hours a day she also said so long as you can prove it which means even if you do go out the cops and wardens and all of the council are gonna harass you constantly aren't they papers please papers please you're allowed to be out absolutely disgraceful what Australia are turning into and New, uh, New Zealand are not much better the next story I'm gonna be doing is absolutely shocking in my honest opinion but I would like to know yours in in, this, in regards to this one, what do you think? Do you think they're doing this on purpose? Do you think it, they have any idea what they're doing? Do you think they're just clutching at straws or just guessing as they go along? Or do you th still think this is about a dreaded lurgy? Sounds very controlling, doesn't it? Authoritarian? Very, I don't know, North Korea-like, China-like. Russia like yep 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 very very suspect and I feel I do feel sorry for people in New South Wales these people are insane in my honest opinion but let me know what you think if you're new to the channel don't forget to with a like comment subscribe hit the bell icon don't forget to subscribe to all of the channels and on the, the alternate platform Odyssey I would like to see you over there stay sane I'll see you on the next one